example problem 1.9 from chapter number one stoichiometry it says in an industry copper metal was prepared by the following reaction zinc plus copper sulfate they combined to produce zinc sulfate plus copper so if 1.247 grams of copper sulfate when reacted with excess of the zinc metal a yield of 0.392 grams of copper metal was obtained calculate the percentage yield so now we have to calculate the percentage yield as you can see that we are given the actual yield which is 0.392 grams of copper metal and we are given the mass of copper sulfate so now from mass of copper sulfate we have to calculate the percentage yield so how we are going to proceed that in the first step we are going to convert the mass of a given quantity into the moles of given quantity so mass in this case is the mass of copper sulfate so we are going to convert the mass of copper sulfate into the moles so as you can see mass of copper sulfate it is given in the question 1.247 grams then we are going to calculate the molar mass for copper sulfate look at the periodic table for the values it is 63.5 for copper sulfur it is 32 and oxygen it is 16 into as you can see 4 over here so we are going to multiply it with 4 the answer is 159.6 grams per mole of the copper sulfate now we are going to find out the number of moles of copper sulfate which is mass by molar mass now putting the values we will get the answer 7.982 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles of copper sulfate so now we have calculated the moles in the second step what we are going to do is that we are going to convert the moles of a given quantity that is moles of copper sulfate into moles of desired quantity so desired quantity is copper so we are going to find out the moles of copper from copper sulfate it can be done by using the equation so what the equation says according to equation you can see that zinc plus copper sulfate combined to form zinc sulfate plus copper now we have to calculate this copper value from the copper sulfate value so we are going to compare the copper sulfate with copper so whatever the quantity we have to find out we are going to write it on the right side of the paper okay so while comparing always mention your unknown quantity or desired quantity on the right side so now we have to find out the number of moles of copper it is not copper sulfate it is the number of moles of copper so the number of moles of copper equals how we are going to find out we are going to calculate it by using this formula which says that if we have a desired quantity which is the number of moles of copper in this case we are going to multiply given quantity so given quantity is always the copper sulfate moles so the moles of copper sulfate in this case is 7.982 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles so you are going to write this value of the moles over here in the given quantity and you are going to multiply it with the conversion factor what conversion factor says is that it is the coefficient of desired quantity so the desired quantity is copper so the coefficient of copper as you can see it is 1 and it can also be obvious from the equation it is 1 so we are going to multiply it with the coefficient and divide it by the coefficient of the given quantity so the given quantity is copper sulfate in this case so the coefficient of copper sulfate is 1 also so we are going to divide it by 1 and our answer came out to be 7.982 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles of copper so now we have obtained the moles of copper we have completed our second step to convert the moles of a given quantity into moles of desired quantity now we are going to move on to our third step which says which is about the conversion of moles of a given quantity into the mass of desired quantity okay so what it says look at here the mass of moles of desired quantity is converted into mass of desired quantity so how we are going to convert the moles of a copper into the mass of copper we are going to calculate the atomic mass for copper which is 63.5 grams per mole it is obtained from periodic table number of moles as we have uh, calculated on the previous page it is 7.982 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles now we are going to calculate the mass of copper by multiplying the number of moles of copper by its atomic mass so by multiplying the number of moles by its atomic mass we will get the value 0.5072 grams of copper so what this value is this value is basically our theoretical yield so this is our theoretical yield and actual yield was the value which was given in the question so the question statement already told us the value of copper which is 0.392 grams of copper so now we have both of these values we are going to apply the formula for percentage yield this formula says actual yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 you have to remember this formula so the actual yield is 0.392 divided by theoretical yield 0.5072 into 100 so we will get the answer 77.3 percent you have to mention this percent over here it is very important as you are going to calculate the percentage yield so this is our desired answer for the question